This instructional video is an overview of the Capital Expenditure and Depreciation Table Worksheet tab. This worksheet is an important part of your plan if you require any type of fixed cost investment in capital goods such as equipment or infrastructure that you'll be capitalizing. Capitalizing an asset means that you'll be putting that expense on your balance sheet as an asset and then depreciating that investment over time. The practices and accounting rules vary. But in most cases, small consumable items, such as those expenditures under $500, are merely expensed and run through the income statement as supplies or equipment costs. While larger items, like in this case, the kiosks that are purchased and put in place, are added to the balance sheet as a fixed asset and depreciate over time based on the expected life of that asset. To orient you to this page, let's look at one of the entries of a kiosk purchase. To make this completely automated, I've added a row for every month, so as the sales plan changes on the Sales tab, the kiosk purchases will automatically change here. Let's look at Month 7 as an example. Our only fixed assets in this model are the company-owned kiosks, so the name of the asset and asset description are the same for all of them, and we've listed the month acquired. The Total CapEx column is automatically populated by that month's total kiosk purchase price from the debt tab and the expected life of all the kiosks is 60 months. The way this CapEx tab is currently configured, all of this is completely automated. Since our sales plan calls for two kiosks to be placed in the seventh month, and since our cost plan estimates the cost to be $35,000 each and the shipping to be $4,000 each, the total of $78,000 for the two kiosks is automatically populated on our debt tab and that same total cost is automatically populated here on the CapEx tab. Further, this amount on the CapEx tab is automatically inserted into the cash flow statement under Capital Expenditures. As we scroll to the right, you will see that the total depreciation amount and the monthly depreciation amount are automatically calculated. These monthly amounts are then inserted automatically into the income statement on the depreciation expense line. The other assumption to be aware of is the replacement CapEx. We include this concept because it's important to continue to invest in your assets to maintain them, repair them, and replace them as needed. In this case, I've got the default assumption that over a period of five years, the expected life of the kiosks, the value of that kiosk will be completely replaced, so my assumption this sale is 100%. This is the most realistic scenario. It is not realistic to assume there will be no replacement expenditure. To sum up, all of these CapEx assumptions are automatically driven by your sales assumptions in only three sales. How many kiosks are placed each month, the cost of the kiosk, and the shipping cost to get it in place. Based only upon these three items, the rest of the model is updated and you will see the full impact of your sales plan on CapEx, cash, debt requirements, the balance sheet, and the income statement. To customize this portion of the model to fit your business plan, all you have to do is change the name, description, and expected life of the assets you will be capitalizing. As always, we've included an instruction section to step you through the few easy steps to complete this part of your plan.